or you can keep showing up, make mistakes and learn from them and get better. And then you'll see your improvement and you won't be a beginner anymore. Hey, hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn. Welcome back to another Motivation Monday podcast. <laughs> I'm so happy to be connected with you right now, right here, right at this divine time. I am sending you such good energy for an amazing week ahead. I'm claiming it for me. I'm claiming it for you. We just gonna have a good, good week. Why? Because what we seek is seeking us and I'm seeking a good old week. I hope you are too. Okay. All right. Well, let me re- readjust myself in this seat. So let's talk about it today. I wanna talk about being a beginner. Today, I want to encourage you to embrace being a beginner. That kinda is hard for me to say. Embrace being a beginner again. No, (laughs) embrace being a beginner. I'm saying it over and over again because sometimes that is the hardest thing to do. We don't start something new. We don't take that class because just the thought of being a beginner again can feel stressful. It can honestly make you feel stupid i'm gonna just say it right and it sucks the feeling of i we want to feel smart i know i do you know and i've been i've been i've put myself in a place in these past several months of allowing myself to be a beginner and it doesn't always feel good but what i have to remind myself is three months from now i won't be a beginner i may not be advanced but i won't be a beginner it takes back to when i used to work at like day jobs or restaurants, right? Especially, it doesn't matter, let's either one, because I used to do both. <laughs> Back in the day, I used to always keep two jobs. And I remember first time working in an office, everything is new. You don't know where the files are. You don't know what kind of phone calls you're gonna get. That's That gives you anxiety. You start getting assignments. You hope you do a good job. You're figuring, trying to figure it out. That first couple of weeks is really like, just you don't wanna get fired. It feels uncertain. I remember working at restaurants for years, right? Waiting tables, hostessing, being a hostess. I think that's more correct. Uh, And you don't know the table numbers. You don't know the menu by heart. Customers, please don't ask me that question. I don't know. Please don't ask me about that wine. I don't know, right? Uh, It's red. Um, It is from California. (laughs) Like, that's all I can tell you, right? And I just remember like, thinking back to like years later and I was a pro. I was the I was the waitress that people requested. I was the waitress that the the chef or the general manager wanted Christine on that section because she could handle it. But I didn't start there. And man, I'm telling you, as I'm saying this to you now, I'm speaking to myself. The teacher teaches themselves, right? Cuz listen, I've been studying Spanish this year. I started taking writing classes this year. I mean, just a lot of things that are new and I'm like a grown person feeling new and feeling vulnerable by my lack of knowledge. And it's really easy. And I'm telling you, I have plenty of days where I just want to quit. I feel like I can't hold a regular conversation with this person. Oh, that's so frustrating. But it's like, but it's like, okay, but what are your options? You can stop and never get past the level that you are now, or you can keep showing up make mistakes and learn from them and get better. And then you'll see your improvement and you won't be a beginner anymore. Do you see where I'm going with this? So I want you to think this week about where you could possibly allow yourself to become a beginner again. Is it taking a film class? Is it uh, like a film editing class? Is it taking a writing class? Is it taking a yoga class or working out with a new trainer? Allowing ourselves to play because we are artists right and that's what we're supposed to do have fun like we i dare say we should be some of the most playful people in our whole family (laughs) you know what i mean because we get to try on different characters all the time so think about it i don't know where this area is in your life only you know but what have you put off because you didn't want to have to start over what have you put off because you didn't want to look stupid i guarantee if you at least start and take a baby step toward that thing Four months from now, six months from now, you'll be amazed at your growth. You know, even my tra- my, my trainer, his name is Zimzon, Zimzon Zion. We've been working together for over a year now through Zoom ever since the you know, uh, pandemic started. And one day I was really frustrated because I just felt like I wasn't seeing results. And I just, I was having one of them days and I was just crying like, I don't see results. And, uh, I was going through it. And he said, Christine, if you want, I can find the old footage from your earlier sessions you weren't able to even do two of those 
shoulder taps or even two push-ups. And look at you now. I, I'm changed, like I'm challenging you more with more advanced things now, hot, heavier weights, so so that it stays a challenge. But you have grown. And I really had to sit with that and be like, wow, I guess so. But when you're just in it, it's hard to see it. But I remember just allowing myself and being so intimidated that first workout session with him. One of my students told me about him. And I went to that first class. I was like, uh, this ain't the class for me. This is the advanced. And I remember my inner voice was like, we ain't no punk. We ain't punking out. <laughs> and that got me through class one, then class two. And I've been working with this guy for over a year now. So I'm so glad I allowed myself to begin again and embrace doing the best I can with what I knew. And so I wanna say the same thing to you. You won't always be a beginner, right? What's that saying? You don't have to get, you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great, something like that. You gotta start. That's the only way you'll get better and not be a beginner, but embrace that and have excitement for the new things you're about to learn. I hope that resonates with you. Be sure to shoot me a DM on Instagram or tag me at actress Christine Horn and let me know what you think. What are you gonna start that you've been putting off because you didn't wanna be a beginner? I'm so curious. I'm so curious. So yeah, be sure to connect with me. And again, if you wanna get your booking magnet swag, your acting is my real job swag. We have all kinds of fun merchandise on our website, shophba.com. So come on over and check that out. And I'll see you next week. Remember that you have a gift that the world needs to see. So don't rob us and don't rob yourself from sharing that gift. Peace.